else is left. Atlanta, I mean, Atlanta is such a marquee for them. That ain't I cheap. Kenya Moore and Portia together, that ain't cheap right there. I think there's a the lot star. of... I don't even know how Dubai is still on the air. I have no... Married to Medicine does well. I think they're going to play out a lot below deck. Summer House is actually doing fairly well. I think they're mm -hmm. going to the long runway with those. So... But those are not one producer, one thing. I mean, Below Deck has a lot of things. I mean, yeah, I think diversify. I think that's my plan. Start trying out new shows again. I mean, it's not easy. And this is where Vanderpump is just thriving. I mean, the Valley is doing okay. Now we have Villa, um, Peacock. I mean, man, Jesus, Vanderpump is just so... God, Lisa Vanderpump is just oh. smiling. Yeah. Smiling. I By don't want to be doom and gloom, guys. I, I hope it I hope everyone is happy for 20 years. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. What do you want? What do you want from me, Sarah? What do you want? <laughs> yes, I want you just the oh. way you are. I love, I love everything you say. Um uh, wait a second. Do you believe that Lala held a knife to Faith Stower Stowers? I don't know how to say it. Um, her throat. I didn't listen to your emergency podcast, but Excuse me. I don't see. I mean, Lala apparently is very shocked by this claim. I mean, I can't see it, but, you know, let's hear how this lawsuit plays out. We'll probably never know. I do think Faith and I do think Eve, I even with her, I think Carolyn Manzo is going to get money. I don't think this Lisa Shannon has discredited her suit. Look, you have to apply the facts to the letter of the law. It's that simple. I mean, if the law is on your side... And the facts are then fit into it. The bad facts don't negate. Like there's a lot of smoke and mirrors in a lawsuit. Like people could say this and that. And it's like, okay, the law is still on my side. I've told you every time I've sued someone, I said, please tell me not to sue this person. Tell me not to and I'll go away. And then when you're told the law is on your side, you will win. Then I'm, I'm very conservative with my lawsuits. Um, there you go. So I do think Manzo has a case. I think Faith has a case. I think McSwiney has a case. They call her Leah McSweeney. I call her McSwiney. Um, I think there's money that's going to exchange hands, which is also not, that's a cost for the Bravo franchise. Let's put that in the negative category of what this these housewives cost us. I don't know. Okay, well, let's set the scene here, which is, so a producer has come out from girls trip and says that Lisa Shannon. Carolyn Manzo felt disrespected, but that Brandy Glanville did not sexually harass her. Okay. Was and the she said that Manzo did not even say assault in the moment when she said, I feel disrespected that they said that she never used the word assault and that they checked on her and said, main thing is to make you feel comfortable yeah. Brandy tweeted then, am I happy about this news? No. Do I feel vindicated? No. I'm fucking more pissed than ever. What these producers do to make a TV show is disgraceful and disgusting. I begged for them to intervene. I almost died. It took a lawsuit and I'm not okay. What do you make of that? Well, I understand. She wants roll tape. Phaedra Parks is over here bopping around saying that uh, she sees things a little different. Phaedra Parks, be careful, girl. Do, 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 do. You are still in traders, married to medicine. Maybe Atlanta? Can we afford to add a third heavy hitter with Kenya and that? Do we have the money for that? Phaedra will be cheaper than Kenya and uh, Portia. Portia. Um, you know, be careful, Phaedra. You're still employed by the network. Don't you defend Brandy too much. They'll cut you off. That's what, what they do. They punish. It's all about control with Bravo. It's all about control. They want to control you. Sarah told me a long time ago, you're either of the people or you're of the business. I am of the people. Bravo Network can suck my 10 inch. Or it's 10 inches and they can suck it. I mean, I can't spend my life... I'm just like, ass. I so many of the people on television. I'm I love them. I love them. I love Bravo. I love the housewives, but I cannot be controlled with a crumb. Now I'm open to bargaining. Like when Avery Singer was on the podcast and wanted the edit, I said, we can bargain. 
we have an edit, you produce Ramona. Oh, you want an edit without producing Ramona? Fuck off. So I am not burning any bridges. I'm into the now, like let's wheel and deal for now. Bravo wants something from me? Great. You got to produce somebody. Kristen, Jack, well, let's go down the list. Granted, I get these people without the damn network, but I don't believe in a fake promise. That's what I mean. So when someone like a Brandy finally wakes up, it is like, oh, I get it. They're promising me this. Shh, keep quiet. Don't talk about this. Shh, because we're going to give you, they're not giving you nothing, Brandy. So I like when someone realizes like, I, I hate to see people with a fake carrot dangled in front of them. I don't believe in that. I believe in, like, listen, I just said, I you know, whatever. The Bravo Network can buy me. Like, I'll do, you know, you want to work together? Sure. We could change the whole narrative here behind the velvet rope. If that's not happening and you're promising me this bullshit behind the closed doors, I'm not falling for that. So I think Brandy is like, roll tape. Roll the fucking tape. You know, you're holding this over my head. This narrative is out there. I just want people to see. The problem is, I mean, you can't roll an unedited tape for the world. That would take nine months. We'd be watching for nine years. So whatever is edited, I don't know if it's going to justify, but we're, look, we're, we're never going to see this. It's just, that's, we're never going to see it. I don't know what else to tell people. I said this right when it happened. We're never going to really think that all these people are going to get money, though. Nene leaks. I mean, what is Nene? Got? Her her case was dismissed. She got massive, massive lawyer bills, I'd imagine. Well, maybe not. I mean, you know, it does set a bad precedent if we just start paying people out. Right. So I think they are going to fight it. That's what's happening. But look, it's not good. Whether they get money or not, this stuff is costing them money. Whereas the three people that are suing have. I assume they had, there's contingent cases. Like if you have a lawyer that's working contingent, it's like, let's. I think Nini's, and now Nini apparently is still in litigation with Bravo. I mean, that's, yeah. You know, years. They're still but trying to work not. it out. So yeah, Nini might get money, sure. I think that, I don't know, NBC is going to get bitter. And they're going to get, I mean, they've got, the, the problem with an NBC is they have the means to drag it out and drag it out, drag it out. But yes. unless, unless real wrongs have really been committed. But if it's be- costing them money, I mean, they, you have to go to external counsel when it's a lawsuit, your internal counsel doesn't handle this. And so like Manzo is probably spending zero. McSwiney is spending zero. Uh, Faith Stowers is spending. So like, if you are suing someone contingent and you're spending zero, who cares? It's costing you zero dollars. A year from now, it's still costing you zero dollars. But it's not costing NBC zero when they have to do know. all this. They have to pay, I don't know. Maybe the joke's on me. Maybe no one will get any money. All right. I want to ask you about some other things though. Maybe I have a weird view of the world. I don't know. What do you want from me? Well, I want to talk about Lori Peterson um, mm. and her mm-hmm. son mm-hmm. passing away Gosh. from a drug overdose. Lori, an OG of RHOC, uh, originally worked for Vicki Gunvalson, if people remember. I mean, just had a, a, a tough life, don't you think? Tough life, divorced. And her son- and She's think, married to a wealthy guy and is very happy. So that's not, that part's not so tough. Okay, well, then things got better. But Josh- Then things got better. And she also doesn't want to be on the show. She's she's in that category of people that like left the show on their own. She got married and wanted nothing to do with this craziness. But go on. Well, um, anyway, her son, Josh, passed away, drug overdose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very sad. Very sad. I th- That story is so heartbreaking. May he rest in peace. 